Welcome to my gallery, my home, and my studio. My name is Luminous, and I'm here to speak with you about my paintings. Why should anyone own a piece of original art? Well, that's an interesting place to start. Uh, <laughs> art is, uh, is such a personal thing for people. Everyone has an idea about what it is and what makes it good and what, uh, why they're attracted to it. Some people think that art is decorative, meaning that um, you can hang it in back of your sofa and it'll match your room. And other people have sentimental ideas about what art is, a place they visited or, or long to visit, you know, some landscape or scene. Uh, art reflects many things for people. The type of pieces I do really are more of internal pieces. They're more about things that happen inside of us and in the invisible world. And when you have a piece of art that an artist has made, if it's a good piece of art, the whole being of the artist is in that art. You know, the whole energy system, the whole, everything goes into that. It's not flat, it's totally alive. And that's true with paintings going back in time. You can feel the artist's presence. So in a piece of original art, you have that presence of the artist, everything that went into that painting, all the intention and what it was meant to do. When did you begin to paint? I first, um, I, I first started painting when I was about 17 years old. I decided that I needed to paint, and I went out and bought some oil paints, of all things, and uh, I painted a painting. And the first painting that I painted was a purple mountain. And I didn't think much of the painting. I painted some other paintings after that. Many years later, I learned the significance of the purple mountain, which is that that's the sacred mountain. That's the place where you go to go higher and reach God, reach the creator, reach your, your highest self. But I didn't know that at 17 years old. About 20 years later, I knew that. What medium do you use now? Well, I use, I use just about everything. Uh, I want to cycle back to when did I start to paint because I think that, for me, painting was always going on. There, it was always an important thing for me uh, because it's an expression that goes beyond words. And it's, my paintings are about things that cannot be spoken about in words. A lot of them are about the invisible world, multi-dimensional worlds that we don't see, um, feelings and life experiences that we all have but maybe can't articulate. So I was very much wanting to paint. So what I did was I became an art dealer um, because everyone told me, well, you can't paint. You'll never make any money. You'll be broken hungry. So I became an art dealer in New York with... Um, dead artists art, 18th, 19th, 20th century American and European art. And so what I learned from that was the classical, the traditional artists, the beautiful landscape artists that did the West and uh, things of that nature. And of course, when I eventually went to school, which I did uh, about 20 years later, I went to the San Francisco Art Institute and I thought I was going to paint myself a beer stat. And, um, I was very surprised at what came out because it wasn't anything like what I had considered through my art education up to that point to be art, viable art. So the medium that I use, to go back to your next question, I use oil paint. Um, right now I'm using water-based oils because they're much easier uh, to clean and they have the viscosity of an oil paint. But uh, I've used just about every medium. Uh, I've used acrylics and colored pencils and gouache and just, just about everything. Whatever is needed to make the image come through. I know you have many paintings, and most of them are kept in storage. Most of them have never even been seen. What is the purpose of these paintings, and why do you choose to paint them? Well, and how many are there? Well, there's probably about 400 paintings that I've done. 
I wouldn't say all of those 400 are necessarily worth looking at in my estimation, and that includes drawings and other, other pieces that I've made. Um, I always had an idea that the paintings were to be used as a way of healing and changing and uplifting. And I also was very much not attracted to putting them in galleries and, and going through all of that. I felt that someday I'd get them out into the world, publish them in books or whatever. And the paintings were painted very specifically with a lot of intention and a lot of clarity. They are solutions to problems that we all have. They are ways through uh, situations in life, once again, that can't necessarily be articulated and for the most part probably don't need to be talked about. Um, they're windows into other worlds and other dimensions. So what they're about really is lifting one's consciousness and awareness and uh, they're meant to be in the home. They have, let's say, subliminal messages. All the time that you're living with a painting it is speaking to you. It's speaking to you of those very deep inner worlds and of, of the things that are most important to us. Of all the ways that an artist can choose to paint, why do you choose abstract images? Well, <laughs> you've talked about that we don't see. Well, I would say they chose me uh, more than I chose them. You know, as you become a painter, you learn. You know, I went to, s to a school where people came from all over the world, many classically trained traditional artists who had to break down their system of painting paintings. I thought, like I said, that I'd paint that Bierstadt or some fabulous Thomas Moran landscape of the West, and what really happened didn't look anything like that. Uh, it was what was able to come through my body, through my being, and the images and the forms and the relationship of those forms and images just, um, that's what it was. So could I sit down and paint a landscape or a house or a little boat in the harbor? I probably could, but I don't have any inspiration for that. There's something uh, deeper at work that makes those images. And I kind of, in other words, what I do is I just show up and I, I get my paints out I might mix some colors, have my canvas ready, and I don't know exactly where I'm going. I allow the paint to take me somewhere. So it shows me where I'm going. I may have a little bit of an idea, but the painting will paint itself if I allow it. It's a, a total lesson in letting go. Why should someone own a piece of original art, and specifically your art? Well, the Original art, as I said before, uh, is something that brings the artist through, uh, through the painting. And someone who's looking at my art uh, may or may not understand it, first off, may like the colors, may be attracted to the shapes. People have different, uh, different types of responses to the art, but they, um, they usually like it. So it's a piece of, it's attraction. People are attracted. And when you have it in your home, like I said, it's going to uh, bring certain things to you, certain levels of consciousness and awareness that are going to be beneficial and healing. What kind of financial investment would it take to own a limited edition museum quality display of one of your paintings? Well, that is a big question. You know, my paintings are in every size, from little um, six by eight canvases all the way up to six foot, eight foot square. So the prices on those are going to vary. The, the giclés that I'm going to offer are, are limited editions. There's an edition of 250. They can be made in different sizes. and. Uh, you know, they're a little bit different shapes. So I would say, you know, you can have an investment as small as maybe $250 all the way up to $1,500, depending on what you choose and what size. 